Today we are going to see how we can use Power Scripts from C Prime to hide the comments field in Jira during a transition. And we're going to do that by creating a, what's called a live field script. So this script gets called every time a screen is opened in Jira. So I've already created my script and I've called it uh, a listener script. Uh, LF listener hide comments field. The first thing I do is check to make sure I'm on the specific transition screen I'm aiming for. And to do that, we have to refer to the screen by the given name in Jira. And I don't mean the screen name that you define, but the Jira name. So transition scripts, transition screens have sp specific IDs assigned to them. And you need to look that up. And if you're saying to yourself, you know, John, that, that seems like a lot of work. I agree. That's why when I did this, I cheated. And I said, you tell me what the screen is. So I get, I uh, set a global message that displayed the screen name. Pretty simple. And then I copied it and put it in here. And we'll take a look at that and we'll remove it later. And then... Once I determine I'm on the proper screen, I just execute two commands. Uh, the LF hide uh, command for the comments underscore tab and the LF hide for the add comment. And there's a reason for that. And let's pop over to the document. So here I am on the C prime website on uh, their documentation for LF hide. And it gives you the fields that can be referenced using the routine and you have the comments tab and the add comment and just to be safe I just included both so you can figure out which one it is and include one but I just threw them both so that's our script um, it's literally four lines if you don't count this um, next thing we need to do is add it as a live field so that's over here under your power scripts configuration live fields and we'll give it a name and you just choose your script and then you choose which specific project you want it to run for or project categories and actually set up a project category so I'm going to use that and that's it so now I'm within my project. If I hit go away, if I hit edit, notice, notice the script pops up and tells me I'm on the edit screen. Thank you script. But my comment is still visible. But then if I thank you, I'm on the view screen. Thank you very much. Very handy script. And then if I go to a screen, which I know has a transition, you notice that my comment went away and it tells me I'm on transition screen underscore 41. So I just thought that was a handy way to essentially cheat um, and get the information that um, I was too lazy to look up otherwise. And, you know, if using a computer isn't for that kind of stuff, I don't know what it's for. So that's it. That is how you use power scripts to hide fields on transition screens. Um, thanks for watching.